Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Coach Sports System. Here we develop automated system to help you win big every single week. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. We are into the eighth week of the NFL season and there's a lot of great matchups in store. A few undefeated teams remaining. One is the Pittsburgh Steelers. They'll be taking on the Baltimore Ravens. That will be our featured game. But we have a few others we want to look at as well. And remember, if you're not already a member, Please join, you'll have access to the Z-Code VIP club section like I have here, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's get started looking at some of these games here. We're going to take a look first as we scroll down through the list of matchups for this weekend. And the first one we want to look at is right here, the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. The Patriots come in dead status. And Buffalo is coming in average up. The Patriots are only 2-4 and four for the season, while Buffalo is 5-2 and two and leading in the AFC East. You can see the odds here. Buffalo has a 1.46 odd to 2.74, so they are the favorites, with an over-under of 43.5. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. You can see that last season the Patriots won both meetings, but these are total, two totally different teams this year heading in opposite directions. And the power rankings indicator, you can clearly see here, although uh, Buffalo is on a slightly downward trend here, they're still at plus 22, and you see New England has dropped considerably. They are down to plus 9. If you're considering the over and under in this one, notice that New England is playing in games trending under the line here, minus 2 points. And you can see Buffalo is playing in games trending over the line by the plus 2 points. So generally when they're on opposite sides of the line, I tend to avoid the over under in that scenario. Let's see how stable the two teams are. How well are they performing according to their favorite underdog status? Well, you can see Buffalo is at plus three stability and New England is at plus one. So Buffalo has been more consistent in that regard. If you take a look at the line movements, let's take a look here at the money line. So you can see right here the Buffalo Bills money line. You can see open here at one point. 469, you can see there was quite a bit of movement here. If you can have me scroll down here, if you see down here, it went to 1.529, but currently it's at 1.461, which is basically the same as where it opened, so very little movement there. So I'm taking a look here, and I think that Buffalo just has too much. They're going to bury New England deeper into the depths, into the division, and come away with the victory. Jets at the Chiefs. That should not be any kind of battle at all. The Chiefs should romp in that one. The Raiders and the Cleveland Browns. You can see the Raiders are ice cold down at the moment and Cleveland is burning hot. Cleveland has a 1.69 to 2.184 odds, so they are the favorites with an over under 53.5. You look at the power ranking indicator. Although Cleveland has dropped some, they're still up over uh, Las Vegas by a plus 16 to plus 13 margin. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. The teams haven't played in a regular season game since 2018, and that was a shootout won by the Raiders, 45-42. You're considering the over and under in this one. You can see that the Raiders are playing in games trending under the line by two points. Cleveland is playing in games trending over the line by four points. But the key to this game might be the loss of Odell Beckham Jr. He is out for the year with a torn ACL. That will greatly affect the Cleveland offensive attack. If you're looking at the volatility oscillator, you will see that Cleveland is more consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. They're the fair to this one, but I'm going against it a little bit. I'm going against it. And we're going for our upset pick of the week, and I think this is going to be it. I think Cleveland's really going to hurt without Beckham in the lineup. I think the Raiders come away with a win. It'll be close, but I think the Raiders will come away with a win on the road. Now, the matchup of the day, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens. You see that the Steelers are burning hot, as are the Ravens. The Steelers are 6-0 and on top in the AFC North, and the Ravens are right behind them at 5-1. and You can see the Ravens have are the favorites here at 1.51 odds to Point, or excuse me, 1.51 odds to 2.59 for the Steelers, you can see right there, with an over-under of 46.5. If 
you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams, you can see last year the Ravens won both games. They were uh, actually underdogs at home and fared on the road. But they won both meetings, one by three and one by 18. Look at the power ranking indicator. You can see that both teams are up high, which you'd expect, being that they are a combined 11 and 1 on the season. Pittsburgh is at plus 29, and the Ravens are at plus 24. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see the Steelers are playing in games trending slightly under the line, and Baltimore's playing in games well under the line. This is a great game to pick the over under. Bet the under. This will be a defensive battle. How consistent are the two teams? Both are very consistent, not surprisingly. Steelers at plus 5 and the Ravens at plus 4. I'm looking at the Ravens to be able to do what they need to do in this one. Take this game by a field goal. Maybe only 2 points, maybe 3, maybe 4. It's going to be right in that range. They will win the game and even up the division. Take a look at a couple more games here now as we scroll down through. Tennessee and Cincinnati, Chargers and Broncos, New Orleans at Chicago. Here's the next one we want to look at. The Saints are burning hot at the moment. They entered the game at 4-2, and two, and the Bears are at 5-2, and two, and the Bears are average status at the moment. You see the, the Saints are a road favorite at 1.55 to 2.47. The over-under line is not... Uh, shown yet here, but you can check back later in the week and that should be on here. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup last year. You see that the Saints won as a road underdog by a 36-25 score. The power ranking indicator, the Bears are plus 27, and the Saints come in at plus 19. Considering the over and under, which we always do, even though the line's not posted, again, check for that later. You can see that the Saints are playing in games trending well over the line. And the Bears are playing in games trending well under the line. So because of that disparity between the two teams, I generally like to avoid the over-under, which is what I will do here. Now we're going to take a look here at the money line. We didn't do that for every game, but we're going to look at it again for this one. If you see there's any kind of movement, you can see that the line opened for the Saints at 1.719. And now take a look at it. Now it is at 1.621. So that's a pretty uh, significant change, I believe. And just that's just happened over the last couple of days. You can see the big change in the last couple of days. So take that in consideration when you're betting on this one. So what I'm looking at is here, the Saints are becoming an increasing favorite. I believe the Saints have a very good chance in this one to win on the road. And go to 5-2 and two for the season. Should be a very good game. Now we're going to look at the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. Now both teams haven't been playing very well. Both teams are under 500, but somebody has to take control of the NFC East, right? So here is a game to see who can go on top. The Eagles are average status at the moment, while the Cowboys are ice cold down. Yeah, the Eagles are a 1.3 to 3.66 odds favorite with an over-under of 43.5. Head-to-head, you can see the Eagles won one last year and the Cowboys won one. And the power ranking indicator, not surprisingly, neither team is very high, both at plus 8 at the moment. And considering the over and under, let's take a look at how they've been performing according to that. Dallas has been playing in games trending over the line. And the Eagles have been playing in games trending over the line as well. So I think betting the over would probably be a good choice in this one. How consistent are the two teams? Probably not very consistent, but let's take a look. Yeah, you can see that Dallas is a little bit more consistent at plus two. Philadelphia is at zero. So the favorite underdog stats doesn't mean a whole lot in this one. If you want to look at the money line, let's look at the... The money line here, Philadelphia Eagles money line, open at 1.31. You can see that it went to, didn't, didn't go very much, didn't move much. Went to 1.34, now it's at 1.3. So it's pretty much been consistent throughout. So what I'm thinking is here that the Eagles will have enough. Dallas is struggling. The Eagles have a better defensive line, which should, should contain the running game pretty well. And Dallas is struggling at quarterback. Andy Dalton, the backup. 
his uh, status is in question after concussion. So I think the Eagles should be good to win this one at home. So there you have it. Those are the picks for the week. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, please join up if you have not already joined. Have a great week. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.